Hei, kyllä puhun vähän suomea, mutta ei hyvin, että puhun nyt englantia, mutta hitaasti. So, to tune the piensitra uh, is not so easy, but you can learn it. And I suggest the first time, if you're not used to tuning, you do it with some other friend of yours. Maybe you have a friend who plays guitar or other instruments and you could do it together the first time. There are many ways to tune. You can play a tone on the piano and compare it to the little citra, do it by ear, or you can use an electronic tuner that you buy in a music store or from us, like the Kori Sea Uxi, or you can use this AP tuner uh, computer program, which is free, uh, easy to use, easy to uninstall if you don't want it anymore. Uh, you can get that from our homepage or other places. And that's what we're going to use now. Then, uh, when you uh, start, you also need to have some tools. So, with the PNC3, you get this kind of simple tool. Uh, which you can put on the the side here and then you grab it and turn this way and that way. It has two ends which are a little bit different so it should fit no matter where what kind of position the, it is in. But better than that is what I call a T line, the T shaped key, which is also the same size as uh, the, the pins here are the same size as cantele pins usually are, 5 millimeters. So if you have a cantele tuning key, you could probably use that. But you put it on and then you turn it with very small movements. Very small. A little bit is enough. And the other important thing to remember is that when you're tuning, always play the note that you're tuning at the same time. For example, if I'm going to tune F and I see the notes by putting in a, a song and then on the side here are all the names of the notes uh, G, F, A, D, Osvida and so on. So if I to tune this F in the middle I have to turn it but also at the same time to play the notes so I can hear and so the computer can understand and show when something has changed. But now to look at the uh, screen, there's an area uh, that if you look on the screen here on the right hand side, there's an area listing all the notes of the Lil Sitra and that we got there in the installation program uh, description. Let's say we take F here and now looking on the screen here you can see it's a little bit to the left and it should be on the zero here around that. So I'll turn it up a little bit. Now it's a little high, but that's good because uh, if it's a little high, you can, you often, if it's been low, you often want to, to push on the string a bit and then it'll work out about right. There we are. That's F. Uh, but let's tune the E. Let's check that. One note down. Well, it's pretty good, but let's say it wasn't good. Let's say it went very low. I'll take it down now to a C or a B. So now if you've been watching on the right side of the screen on the AP tuner, you can see that at the blue areas around the B or the C. I'll do it once again. So that means then we know we have to go up.
and now we're kind of in the E area and then we can look on the the actual display itself here to, to get the E so it's not too low not too high but in the middle right now it's too low so I'll take it up a bit maybe even a bit past E and then give it a little push and that's good for me it takes just a couple of minutes to tune a pian citra but if it's been very out of tune very low for example it usually you need to go through it once and tune it and then leave it for a couple of minutes and tune it again uh, because it takes a while for the tension to spread uh, to the sides of the string and so on the same as with any other string instrument and the same as any other instrument like guitar or violin and so on it depends on the weather a bit so that you'll find that if you tune it and then in the fall as you get toward Christmas it'll get lower and lower and you'll have to tune it up and up if you want to keep it to the same as the piano and then in the spring it will rise again uh, and even go uh, quite high so that um, and that is because the wooden instruments expand a bit with the humidity uh, and uh, temperature affects it. If you have trouble tuning, give me a call if you want and we'll talk about it. If you take the instrument to some friend or to a music store or so on, make sure you take along some sheet of music that, that shows on the side what the uh, names of the notes are so that they can, they can tune it for you. Good luck and happy playing.